I find myself wondering what the world must have been like before the bear crashed into our frail planet, transforming all we once knew into a colorful kaleidoscope of delicious chaos. And I love it. The world was more hospitable, no doubt. More orderly, more sensibly sickening because it sounded boring and I hate being bored. I can't imagine a world without the bear or the storms. Yes, the storms. Beautiful waves of emerald blood cry down from the heavens, promising death in lawless disarray, constantly upsetting the order. I get butterflies in my tummy just thinking about it. Yes. Yes! Speaking of which, Let's see. Oh, it's Horatio, the humble blueberry farmer, loving father, and the most boring creature on the face of this planet. But what's this? Looks like you've got a spicy situation on your hands, hmm? Well, it's been nice knowing you, Horatio. Not really. But now it's time for you to die. Yes, how exciting. Not for you, of course. Hmm. It's okay. Who's up? Dead Horatio died. Nothing but a handful of blueberries and a stupid look on his face, Horatio set out to find some shelter, burdened with the realization that none of this would have happened had he listened. And to make matters worse, he's got weak arms, and he's not all that handsome. I don't see what all the fuss is about. But all of this will haunt him until I decide to end his misery. What fun. Right, run, little man, you tiny coward. Run for shelter. It's not a trap, trust me. You should go to the roof. There's lots of shelters up there. Comforting shelters. Tons of shelters. Trust me, it's going to be awesome and shelterous. Yep, there's still more stairs. So much shelters. There's like five shelters. Can you dress it up, dog? With your cake. Hey Horatio, look over there. Going up. Ding. Ah! 
What's this? A beautiful lady. She looked hungry. Horatio shared his blueberries. Here, I know you got it. No, you shared your berries. Huh? How generous of you. How did you her win? name was Pipistrella, and though she looked more than capable, she requested Horatio's aid. You see, her castle was raided by grumpy warriors, and she doesn't like that very much. Go on, my little hero. Perhaps this could become a mutually beneficial relationship. Earlier is dearest. I should be splashed. Oh, the one with the mustache told me you guys are stupid and weak. I don't know why he'd say that. Mm. Chaotic job, gentlemen. Go wreak havoc elsewhere. Oh, sorry, Pip. Are you upset? With her castle in ruins and a very dead daddy, Pipistrella accompanies Captain Worthless, and what a woman. Her optimistic outlook and reckless bravery captivated Horatio, so much in fact that he immediately forgot about his son and eh? his home and... Where are you got it? Yes, you did. How did you wish you? Where are I you? see. Horatio gave Pipistrella the remainder of his blueberries, and they headed for the city, the perfect place to recuperate and make plans for Horatio's inevitable failure and death. Plus, there's a pretty good restaurant there that has great beef stew and cornbread.
Yes, the city, how it bustles with excitement. Keep your wallet in your front pocket.
Triple kill, yes! They had won the battle. Horatio kissed Joseph on the lips and then stabbed him in the stomach. Now, you really should listen to me, Horatio. Pumbly popply hopper, he snooky pokey, but stoody do, and tonky wonka wonky nong. Ahem, he snooky pokey, but stoody do, linky winky, binky bong bong.
Linda. Espense por pra perteonia. Ano já é? Yum, yum. <laughs>
going to move the entire city to a new place now, and there's nothing you can do about it. How hopeless. How hopeless.
Well, aren't you just little champions? Hey! 